Hello everyone, welcome to Study Guide Forum. Today we are going to be looking at um, the review of the possible um, YEC uh, exam question, chemistry practical. That is, uh, we are looking at the, the specimen for the volumetric analysis. Now in the volumetric analysis, it's uh, going to be um, a redox reaction. In this redox reaction, what we have is potassium, potassium triazo, uh, magnet 7 and ion 2 tetra also sulfur 6. Uh, mainly in this reaction, um, they don't have any indicator. They don't use it because it's what save a indicator. It's save indicator because the color change of this will tell you what really happened. Another thing you should also note in this uh, in this uh, volumetric analysis, um, it has to do with um, you normally use a conch acid because conch tetrazo surfaces acid help to, you know, speed up the reaction. It's how as a, 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 you know you need to acidify it. But then, um, before I continue, um, I want you, if you have not subscribed to our channel, you make every effort to do that. Comment any question you think you can ask us. You can ask us. You can leave it in the comment section. And we would like, like you also to subscribe, share, tell, let us know how you feel about us. And now. Um, let's continue. In this case, another one I want us to talk about in the volume, uh, in the quantitative analysis, where we have uh, the is a mixture of two salts. It's a mixture of two salts. This salt has to do with uh, lead nitrate. Lead nitrate. Lead nitrate. And sodium triazo carbonate four. Now it's a mixture. Of one is to one, and the ratio of one is to one. That is what the uh, you are expected, and it will be tag C. To be tag C. So, um, in this other volumetric analysis, uh, A is a potassium potassium tri also per magnet uh, magnet seven, and then B is what ion two tetra also surface six. So in this case now here we, what we have here what I want you to look out for is that this thing is um, two soluble salt. That means in a mixture of this, there the possibility you are going to see in this reaction is a um, double decomposition will take place here because at the double, double decomposition that will take place here will make this you will have you will have a let's go to the You have something that looks like this in that reaction. Um, sodium, sodium triazo carbonate, which is soluble, and lead nitrate, which is soluble. That's the only soluble um, lead compound. That's lead nitrate. So we, when the two of them combine, this is um, aqueous. This is also aqueous. In the mixture, that is when you add water to them now, they will, they will be aqueous. Now, in that reaction, what will happen is that that will be an exchange of radicals. Sodium will take over what we have here. That means we have sodium and then lead will then move over to uh, lead triazo carbonate. Then what do we have? Okay. Now, what it simply means is that this one it will be solid and this one will be what? Um, aqueous. I want you to pay attention. In, uh, actually, in our next video, in our next video, we are going to be showing you how to carry out the do the analysis, how to do the analysis. I want you to make sure you, you, you watch this to the end, and then um, watch out for the next video that will be coming on how to really analyze this and identify all the ions that the possible ions they are likely to ask you to identify. So now we will have this. This one will be soluble. This one is a. Uh, um, solid. Now, what you do here is in the analysis, you filter. You're going to filter this one will be the filtrate, while this one will be the residue. This is what, we, what you will find in the residue, which is white precipitate. White precipitate of lead triazo carbonate 4. This other one will be clear solution of sodium triazo nitrate 5. Sodium does not have any insoluble compound. So, this one will go as this one will go down as a filtrate, while this one will be the residue. Now, in that residue, then, being that nitrate is here, then to identify this nitrate, that means you will need 
come to the trials of Asis, come to the trials of Asis, acid on heating, and uh, nitrogen will be liberated. Um, nitro, nitric, um, triazo nitro five acid will be liberated. Remember, come to the trials of Asis, always liberates every other um, acid from their compound. Reason because come to the trials of Asis is non volatile. Every other guy, most of the acids, they are all world volatile. Concentrate surfaces will always do that. So that is how you can identify this. In our next video, I'm going to show you how we're going to identify this salt in question because it will be it will be in the solution. Now coming to this other end, coming to this other end, the possible thing you should expect here, the possible thing is to expect that to identify this um triazocarbonate. Now we know that we know that we know that triazocarbonate lead has no um, soluble compound except lead nitrate. So in that case, to get to test for this carbon four, to test for this carbon four, you will need dilute triazo nitrate five acid. On adding tri dilute triazo nitrate five acid, carbon will be liberated, which will be test with lime water. Remember, you have lime water there. Test which will turn lime water milky. Now, the, at the end of the day, to test for lead, we know how to do this. In our next video, don't just miss it. I don't want you to miss this second video that will be coming up. And in, that, in the next video, I will show you how to identify the lead. So many ways you can do that. You can do that with potassium iodide, which will give you yellow precipitates of lead iodide. Or you can do it with um, aqueous ammonia, which will give you um, white, precipitate, uh, white gelatinous precipitates, which will be also, um, which will be, um, which will be also insoluble. White gelatin spray, which will be insoluble in SS. And then we can also use um, sodium triazo and sodium hydroxide. So all these things is going to um, you're going to see how we're going to do this in our next video. Thank you so much for being part of this uh, for this class. And then thank you for coming this far. We wish you the best. Thank you. Oh.